Chinese fried chicken, some Chinese chow mein, some stir fried vegetables. Mm -mm. I'll be making Chinese food for the longest while. Guyanese style, American style, all different styles. Today, I'm just going to be making some chow mein. Hey guys, it's flat. And man, we're in the kitchen. No fishing. The weather is so bad lately in Florida. But there's a rainbow coming out very soon for us. Anyway, let's get back to the food. We're going to start with our ingredients and our steps. So first, I'm going to start with the chicken. Very simple recipe. Some sesame oil, salt, black pepper, Chinese spice spice. I just like to add a little bit more flavor. Szechuan peppercorns. Easy. Get this in the Asian market anywhere. Some ginger, garlic, scallion. I'm going to put in some shadow benny and some thyme for extra flavor. You know, after I finish washing the chicken and cleaning it, I'm just going to pat it, get some water out of it properly. I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight. So get some sesame oil, just a little, just to coat the skin. This gives it a nice flavor. I didn't do the underside as yet because when I turn it over to add the rest, that's when I'll put the oil over there. I'm just going to mix up the three spices, the salt, the black pepper, and the five spice. I'll rub this all into the chicken. Try to get it coated all over, you know, under the wings, everywhere. You know, so it, everywhere has this consistent flavor. And the same thing for the underside. I'm doing a whole chicken, so I cut it in half, and these are the two pieces. I'm just going to add everything to this pan, and I'm going to cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. All these flavors are going to infuse into this chicken. And then tomorrow, you're going to see what I do with the. I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to use this on the stove. I'm just adding extra pepper. You don't have to. Just put everything in a bowl and in the pan, cover it real tight, and stick it in the fridge. At least for six six hours. I did mine for overnight. These are going to just add different layers of flavors. And lots of Chinese food, they loved lots of ginger and garlic. That's always in, in, involved. Cover it tight, put it in the fridge. So here is my two steam pan. Man, I had these things for years. They work like a charm for doing any steam. So I put some water and then the, the spices and the rubs I had on the chicken, all these extra infused flavors, I'm going to add it to the water. Some people just throw it away, but why? You know, it's just going to give the chicken more flavor. I'm going to put my steam pan. I'm going to rest my chicken right into there. I'm using two pans because it's a whole chicken. But if you're just using a half or a few pieces, you can use one pot. There we go. I set the chicken in here too. I'm going to let this come up to a boil. Then I'm going to cover it. I let it cook for about 20 minutes. You know, you got to vary that cooking time based on the size of the chicken. I'm going to take these out and rest them on a, on a tray so they can cool down before the next step. And as I said, we're cooking Chinese food. So we're going to cook some chow mein with this with lots of veggies. Oh, look at this. I found some purple bora. Only a few times per year you get this. So I already cut up all my vegetables and I'll go through what they are as I'm cooking. You know, some bora, some sweet peppers, carrots, onion, garlic. So let's start with some sesame oil. I added some other olive oil to this. I'm going to throw all the veggies with the onion, the ginger and the garlic together in at first. I did not add the cabbage. That is going to go at last because it, I don't want too much water in my food. Some chief chow mein seasoning, some black pepper. Give this a nice toss. If you want to make it wet chow mein, you can add some soy sauce now. And this is how you get that lao mein kind of flavor. I'm just going to add my chow mein. I'm keeping it dry today, so that's why I left out my soy sauce. Add some more chief chow mein. You know, this is for taste. Adding some flavor, you know, black pepper, of course. Tosses up real well. And I'm going to add all my, my other peppers and the scallions to the food now. I like these to be crunchy and nice. 
and pimento pepper is a must in my chow mein. And this is done. I'm making my veggie today. You know, you can taste the salt, adjust it. And this is what we did with the chicken. Get a pot with some oil. After the chicken has cooled on for about half an hour, are we just gonna deep fry it? And this is how the Chinese chicken get that delicious flavor. You saw what I did, I steamed the chicken first, let it cool, and now I'm frying it. I think I did it for about 10 minutes per side. This side was thicker than the other, so this one took a little bit longer to cook. This one was easier. So sometimes you have to look at the size of the chicken and that will vary the cooking time. You don't want to overcook it because then it's going to take out all the juice from the chicken. But yet you want it cooked right through. And we also did some stir fry. I did all the extra vegetables I cut up. Just add some garlic and soy sauce. Toss it up real well. This is probably about two minutes of tossing. That's it. I like my veggies crunchy. The kids love it this way too. And this is the star of the show, the chicken. Looks horrible, but mm, mm, mm. boy, this taste is beyond delicious. I like to sample my chicken before, you know. Look at this. The meat is so nice. Get a sharp chopper, a knife, and cut it up. I'll show you these breast pieces, how nice they look. They're cooked right through. Very, very delicious. The skin is a little bit crispy and the inside is moist and juicy. And of course, our lovely pepper sauce. Mm -mm. Time to go sit and eat. Thanks everyone for watching. Do hope you enjoy. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, like button, and stay tuned for some awesome videos coming up again.